back my hair. I'm going to start off with the eyes. I am basically doing a um, Kylie Jenner inspired look. And this is the picture that I will be basically inspired to recreate. And I'll post it somewhere here so it can be bigger. But she just has a very contour warm face with very vol voluminous, you can say, with eyelashes and some little bit of pink, ah, uh, pink eyeshadow on the top. Nothing dramatic really with the eyes. It's more of the contour and the warmness that she has on her face. So that's what we're going to be recreating. So... I'm going to start off with two primers. I am going to use first the Makeup Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and Base Mattifying. Mattifying. And I'm just going to put this in the center of my face. Basically, I am a very oily beast. <laughs> and I tend to get very, very oily. So, second primer. And this is from Maybelline. It's the Baby Skin instant pore eraser and I'm just going to apply that on top and the rest I'll just apply it on the outside of my face I look what the hell I did I look at my top ew um I like the way it smooths out and my foundation applied on top so for foundation <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, still sick. I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation. And I am in the shade Light Beige. So I'm just going to take one pump like this and just dot it all over my face. And I did say I was going to start with my eyes and I ended up putting my foundation anyways. That's what happens when you're not... Organized. I'm not very organized. There you go. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Don't know what brush is this, but I'll leave it down in the description box below. Anything that I mention, I'll leave in the description box. Don't tell my kids we're playing with this. Anyways, I'm going to just dab this all over my face, basically just patting it and then doing circular motions. In a Ulta haul slash Makeup Revolution, I bought a couple of stuff from Ulta and ordered some stuff from Makeup Revolution's website. So, I don't know what video is going to be up first, but if anything, I'll leave it down in the description box below. And you can go check that out. And while you at it, you can subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy then after that, I am going to use this Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. I love this. It's a peachy um, tone. It's good for your under eyes um, circles, you can say. So I'm just going to put a little bit in that area where I feel like it's dark. The E45 brush, I'm just going to blend that out. Take the Naked Skin from Urban Decay, and this is the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer, and I am in Light Warm. This is it, and I'm just going to just conceal and brighten those areas, so basically under my eye. <laughs> I'm just going to pat that with the same E45 brush. Take this LA Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and I'm just gonna basically contour with this. this beauty Blender and it's damp and just going to blend that out. And I'm just going to take the same Morphe E45 and just kind of Pat that on the out part of my nose just to blend that out. So to set the um concealer that we put under our eyes and in the center of our face, I'm going to be using this 
Maron setting powder. It looks just like this. And this powder is very good to set um, cream makeup, basically to mattify it. So I am actually very whoop, oily down there. And basically everywhere I actually applied concealer. So I'm going to take that same brush that we used, pat a little bit, top off the excess, and just pat it in. It looks very white, but it's translucent, so. <coughs> oh my god. I basically swallowed that powder. But it's very good to set. So our kit from Anastasia is the light to warm, and I'm just going to use this color right here. You go. I'm just going to tap, tap off some glasses in. Just contour. Basically, just to set that cream contour. And just to warm up the face a little bit more, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. And this is in. I think I messed up the color. Sunkiss. Just to warm up the face a little bit more. I'm going to take. This BH Cosmetics brush is the 108 and just, just a little bit. And just to sharpen that area down here, I'm going to take this powder from Airsprung. Is it Airsprung used powder? It's just to sharpen that area a little bit. Brush from e.l.f. It's like... A contour you can basically say brush oh my god look at all that powder let me clean it and just basically just going to dab it in the powder and just sharpen up that area a little bit just so it can look clean she doesn't have that much of a blush she has a subtle blush so I'm going to use this Milani um, powder blush and romantic rose 01 and I'm just going to take my Real Techniques blush brush and just apply a little bit. Wiping out with the Stipply brush from Ollie and Olivia and just blend it out just so there's no harsh lines. Now for the eyes. So I see the pinky, you can say eyeshadow. I don't know if y'all can see that. See it right there. And a little bit is pow in your face. It's basically very simple. So I'm just going to start with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to put that in my lid as my transition color. And I'm going to use this Revolution um, Fluffy Brush. is the EO3 brush. Just to, ooh, just to put that in my um yeah, my crease just as his transition color. I'm going to take this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. What is this? Self made palette. Everything is falling. And I'm going to take this color called uh, Sheerbert. If I'm saying that right, Sheerbert right here. It's more like a peachy tone. I'm just going to apply that right where I apply that um, creme brulee color also on the top going on and I'm going to take Coco Bear with <coughs> with this Ulta crease brush right here it looks just like this I'm just gonna put this more in into the crease to on the outer part of the crease going in, but just mainly focusing it on the crease right here. And with that fluffy brush that we used from Revolution, I'm just going to just blend that out, making sure there's no sharp lines, so no extra product on the brush. I'm just going to use a little bit of Blossom from the Self Palette from Anastasia, just to give it a little bit more of this Morphe E33 brush. No, Morphe 330 brush. Just going to put that a little bit toward where we put Coco Bear and I mean where we put Crumbly at, just to give it a little bit of a 
deep touch. So I'm going to use this Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil. This one is in 05 Pink Evermore, just like this. I'm just going to apply that. I'm just going to apply that on my lid and just spread it out with my finger. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit in the inner part of the eye. In the inner part of the eye right here. Because I see that she also has that with the Revolution Brush E103 and just take some of that more of that blossom color and just basically just blend that out. I'm gonna go in, <coughs> excuse me, um, in my lash line with that sheer bird color right here and just put it. She doesn't have that much on her under eye, but I just want that little bit of color. And then going more in with a precise pencil brush just like this. I'm gonna take Coco Bear. And just apply it on the other on the outside part just to warm up that part. Back in with that cream eyeshadow just to touch up the inner part. Highlight, I see that she has an intense highlight. So kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this one is in that glow. And I'm just going to take pink and gold and bubbly. And we're just going to mix these two. I'm going to take a brush just like this and just go ham. Gotta bring fart for a minute. That's nice. I don't put it on my chin because I am oily, but just as of the sake of this video. Now we're gonna go to brows. Um her brows are nice and subtle. My normal brows, and I'm just gonna speed up this process. Brow styling plumper. I hope that's what it is because it's erased. And I am an inch medium to dark. I'm just going to set these bad boys. Also from the self palette, I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called buttery, and I'm just gonna use that light color just just to highlight under there. That and just. To open up my eyes a little bit, this is preference if you want to use this. If you don't, you can just skip this step. I'm going to use um, an eye brighter liner from Pixie, and this one is in the color Nude. L'Oreal Miss Manga. And I'm just going to put one coat of mascara on each lashes and also apply them on my bottom lashes. And for falsies, I'm going to use these lashes from Violet Voss, and they are on they're called so i just want to have fun and i like these they're very wispy now the lashes are on i'm going to use a little bit of my mascara just to la lashes 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 just so you don't see that gap and my real lashes are actually so i'm going to use this NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, Define, Turn On, Waterproof, Extreme Liner. Damn, that's a long name. But this is in the color Nude Suede Shoes. And then just going to line my lips and then fill them in with this liner. And then I'm going to go in with something else. This NYX Ombre Lip Duo, but I'm just going to use the lipstick part. There you go. And it's like this nude color like this. I'm just going to put it on top and apply 
add some of the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like watching inspiring tutorials from either a model or an actress or a, a celebrity, just leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you like to see next. And I don't have anything else much to say than thank you so much for watching. Um, as like I said, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!